Hello and welcome to another episode of Love Angles Car Series. I'm not recording this in the car right now because there are so many parties around the area and I don't want anything getting in the way of this video. So I'm doing this on my couch so this is technically a couch series <laughs> for today so please bear with me if you like the video don't hesitate to click on the like button you can leave a comment on the page and subscribe to my channel now today I want to be talking about how to spot real haters now everybody has got haters don't deceive yourself by thinking oh everybody loves me everybody likes me everybody's happy when i'm successful not everybody likes you not everybody loves you not everybody will like you that's not how it's meant to be there are people who will be rooting for you and there are people who don't care who don't want you to really succeed so i'm going to be teaching you how you can spot your haters and how you're going to deal with them so this is going to be like a two-part series uh we, today we deal on how to spot your haters and the subsequent one will be how to deal with your haters after you have identified them now we have two kinds of haters the least dangerous ones now those ones are the haters that come out you know they they they, rebu they rebuke you publicly they show as in they confront you directly they show you that i don't like you i don't send you i don't care yes those ones are the least dangerous so when you see someone who shows himself or shows herself to you know let you know that i don't dig you i don't you know it's better for you you know this person and you just avoid that person it's better for you now we have the more dangerous haters those ones don't show you directly that they don't like you they are subtle and you see them as friends you wouldn't know that they are the ones killing you behind how do you spot them how do you know them this is what I'm going to be talking about today. Okay? So, the first one is they see you as competition. Yes, they see you as competition. You know, you have people around you who probably you look up to them and you feel, ah, this person has gone before me and all of that. And you are still paparazzing around them. Like, I want them to mentor me. I want to learn one or two things from these people. But then in their mind, they see you as, okay, if I give this person room, the person wants to come and be showing, you know, if I give this person room, this person will outdo me. And so they block you. They see you as competition. They see you as, you, you, you won't even know how many people don't like you because they see you as competition. Okay, okay, she's get, getting into this industry now. Okay, she wants to be competing with me. And that is not even your intention. Probably that's something you've, always had in mind to do or something you know you are gifted in and you now decided to okay let me go into this and then they are looking at you like eh, don't they come our lane eh? they see you as competition <laughs> so you have to be careful people who see you as competition okay mm -hmm. so the second one is they will give you a platform for expression if it's within their power no platform eh? Okay, now you sabi abi. Oh, yeah, now make us see how you wanted one. That is their kind of person, or that's the, those are the kind of people you have around you. No, you, you know that they have platforms where you are supposed to okay, they see you as a friend, or they see you as somebody who, who okay, this person has got potential, this person is hard working, this person is good, you know. But if it's left to them. The, the only way you get a platform where they are is it's not in their hands to you know make that decision sometimes maybe probably they're just working with that platform and it's not their thing or it's not in their hands to they have no uh, uh say on who gets an opportunity to be on the platform that's the only way you can get that platform and then you know they, they make it look like they pulled all the strings for you oh babes i what well, i really tried i did this i it's a lie they didn't want you but it wasn't in their hands now if they have the opportunity if it's in their hands you won't get a platform to showcase yourself they try to block you as much as they can mm. haters haters <laughs> okay the third one i have here is the pretend not to see good things happen to you yes pretense pretend not to see good things happen to you uh you get a good job you know they won't tell you congratulations something good happens to you they won't tell you congratulations they pretend like they're not seeing it uh but probably you have something that's uh something bad like something you're sorrowful about 
and you make a comment on that you see them oh sorry oh oh in their mind mm, make it do mm, mm, in their mind you know but then they come out and they you know paparazzi around you like they are in for you but they are not so they don't <laughs> they don't appreciate you when you do something good something that shows your good something that shows your skill you see them turn the face like this um, I'm gonna give an example with myself I promise not to talk about myself so much in this uh, car series but I'm gonna give an example there were certain people I noticed that when I got an award they didn't tell me congratulations now it's as little as congratulations but I didn't get it from such people because um, Probably they are, you know, beefing or hating and feeling, who's this one now that just came from somewhere and wants to come and be dragging space or wants to come and be shining? And they all pretended like they didn't see it till today. <laughs> hey, that's, that's what I'm talking about. It's everywhere. I'm making noise about it. I'm happy about it. And a lot of other people are calling in to say, congratulations, 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 congratulations. And these people zip up till today and pretend like they didn't say it you know so you have to be careful with people like that around you um okay the other point i have here is they try to sabotage you from behind they run you down with their mouth if they can't stop you they try to stop you you know just to make sure you don't get it they are your haters you don't know you see them as friends you know you guys hang out you guys do stuff you know, they try to, as much as, as bad as uh, if your friends are probably, you're having, you're dating, all of you are together and all of you are dating and all of that. And then you see this cute, cool guy that who's interested in you and who's taking you serious, like he wants to marry you. And now these haters, let's say they're friends, they're close friends, they, they know that this guy is, you know, boxed up, good looking and everything. And he's got his eyes only for you. And then, before you know it, they start going behind to tell stories about you, stuff you've done, you know, probably you've, you, guys, you guys have, you know, led a bad life, so to speak. Or you've done certain things, you know, like coded girls now, the kind of things you do in the university and all of that, just, you know, you know, you know, you know how we roll. <laughs> and you've done stuff, and then they go behind and they start talking to this guy and start telling him all the stuff you've done. You know, they just want to sabotage that relationship. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to, probably they're not happy. Or even, they might even be happy, you know. They might, not, not happy, really. They might even be married, you know, but they feel, eh, so that by the time she now gets married, she'll start rubbing shoulders like all of us are wives and all of that. You know, they try to sabotage you. They're not happy that you're making progress, you know. They run you down with their mouths. You hear stuff that your friends say about you, behind you, and you're wondering like, ah, ah. Has it gotten to this level that this person will say all of this about me? You know, you have to be careful with such people. They are your haters. They are not happy that you're making it. They are not happy that you're getting there. All right. So uh, they show you body language uh, signs of sadness when you succeed. Body language signs of sadness. They don't say it like, you know, but then they are cold. There are certain people I, I have around when i notice you i'm very observant when it comes to stuff like this i notice things but probably because i talk too much <laughs> people don't know that i am an observant person i'm very observant i notice anything like anything <laughs> things don't get me by i notice things don't pass me by rather i notice i notice so there are certain people i notice like if something good happens and i'm excited and they are just cold you know you do it once, you do it twice, in my mind, okay, this person is not my person. And even if you are close to me, nothing happens to me that I will tell you again. Okay? I just know that this person is not my person. This person is not really happy about, you know, good things happening to me. So you have to be smart. You have to notice things when good things are happening around you. Notice those ones who show. They won't say anything, you know. It's not like they'll come and tell you I'm not happy. Mm -mm. You know, they'll still be, you know, putting on face like, mm, eh, oh, okay, oh. Hey, now you're on good though. Eh? Hmm. So God don't finally do it for you. Eh? Now you're on good though. They are not happy. <laughs> they are just not happy. You can tell that this person is not just happy that good things are happening to me. Now finally they monitor your progress. There are people that are monitoring spirits. They will be seeing all your posts. They cannot like. They will be seeing all your posts. They cannot comment. 
they'll be seeing everything they, they, they're following you up like everything you they're the first to view everything you put up on social media they're the first to view everything you do they know you know they are monitoring you because they don't want you to uh, uh, get ahead of them so they want to see okay what's she doing now or what's he doing now eh? okay the, the 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 shell job has come eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, this one has come. Eh, has finally landed a man. Mm -hmm. They want to know everything about you. Sometimes they call you to keep tabs on you, like you, they haven't seen you in a while. Social media stuff. They call you and they, oh baby, how far? Uh, what's happening? Uh, I haven't seen you since. So they want to know what is happening. They are haters. Yeah. Okay. I said so. BC said so. So those are. Uh, some of the points that you have to look out uh, for so that you can spot your haters. Like I said, they are the least, uh, they are the most, uh, more dangerous ones. They, they are subtle. So if you're not smart, you won't even know that they exist and you go around feeling everybody loves you and everybody likes you. That's not how it's meant to be. <laughs> not everybody will like you and not everybody will love you. Now, the next series that will be coming up will be on how to deal with with your haters so stay tuned stay connected and i'll come your way again next week bye bye